How are you doing today? <laughs> now y'all know there's about to be people upset in America because we just might be headed for a government shutdown. Oh yeah. They fighting back and forth, the Democrats and the Republicans, as you know, could not agree on the new budget. Now, this happens almost every year. They scare the American people. Why do they do that? Why they can't agree? Well, I know why. Because you have the demons. Fighting the Christians. That's what I say. Yeah, I know there are some low-down Republicans. Yes, I know that. But most of them are good people. And they want to do what's right for the American people. And they want to stop all the stuff that's going on at the border. Okay? They want to stop all the money that's going to Ukraine. And they want to stop all the people sitting up on a system for years and can never do anything for themselves. Now, when I say this, y'all, I'm getting tired of saying it. I'm not talking about the disabled and the handicaps and the veterans. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people who just can never, ever try to do better with their life. Okay? The able-bodied person. That's who I'm talking about. If your job don't pay enough to take care of your household, did you ever think once I should stop having babies? Did you ever think? I know people want kids, but you know what, y'all? It just put a strain. It's going to put a strain on you, and it's going to put a strain on the taxpayers. Now, a lot of people don't believe that, but it's true. Now, it's true. Now, I'm going to show y'all some videos today. <laughs> some people are afraid, some people are upset, and some people, a lot of people, most people blame the Republicans because the Republicans right now, y'all, they rule the house. They want to blame them and call them names. But you got to also think about what about when the Democrats rule the house? What about that, huh? We was having the same problems with the shutdown, but they always want to blame the Republicans, but never the Demo Democrats on anything. It's always us. Us. Now, if this is your first time here, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please watch the entire video, because I work hard on this. I really do, okay? And go to TimberlilyCreations.com. You just might want to find you a mug, something that you want to... Drink out of something that you're proud to drink out of, you know, while you sit up here and watch me act crazy and get mad, okay? And go to cookingwithsandrafay.com. I'm going to put a new video on there next week, okay? I got delicious recipes for you and your family. Moving right along here. Now, if I get a little long with it, you got to excuse me, okay? But I want you to please watch the entire video. And thank you for doing so. Now, I'm going to play this video we got like what, almost a day and a half, but this lady said two days, but this was video was from yesterday. It said two days until government shut down with no signs of a deal. No signs whatsoever. So people, the government shut down, she's telling you you got to prepare. Prepare for now. Now, if you haven't prepared, then you are out of luck. I want to say the other word. You are out of luck. Listen to this right here. Listen out quickly to avoid a government shutdown. The deadline is now just two days away. NBC's Ryan Nobles joins us from Washington. So <laughs> we asked you again, Ryan, how close are they to getting a deal? Uh, not close at all, Savannah. Good morning. And you're right. Only two days to go. Republicans and Democrats really not any closer to striking a deal to avert a government shutdown. In fact, at this point, the two sides aren't even really talking. And then there's even real division within the House of Representatives. Speaker Kevin McCarthy shooting down a bipartisan short-term spending bill uh, that was uh, uh, proposed in the Senate in favor of moving a group of appropriations bills that really have no hope of passing the upper chamber. Now, if they cannot strike a deal by midnight Saturday, 
millions of government workers will not get paid. That includes active duty members of the military who in the past were given carve outs to keep them paid during a shutdown. But that is not happening this time around. Now, members are expected to work through the weekend until an agreement is reached. But the speaker is in a tight spot here because agreeing to the demands of the GOP holdouts would have little of a, of a plan that would have little chance of passing. And so then if he turns to get help from the Democrats, he could face ouster as speaker. So we're in a very difficult situation here on Capitol Hill, Savannah. GOP holdout. Republican holdouts. Never Democrats holding out. We want what we want. So whenever y'all disagree with us, okay, it's going to be y'all, the Republicans, okay. Y'all hold it out. It ain't us, okay? Because we want what we want. We're going to get what we want, okay? The Democrats, you know. So it's always the Republicans holding out. Always, y'all. No deal in sight. That's what he said. No deal whatsoever. None, okay? Now, they also says, they said something about McCarthy just might get voted out. How can he get voted out? Because of this, Okay. It's up to Congress, you know, nay and yay, okay? Why he gonna get voted out? Y'all didn't vote out Nancy Pelosi when they was having that problem every year. Y'all didn't vote her out, okay? But they want to vote out McCarthy. I ain't gonna say he is the best there is, but I am gonna say he's better than Nancy Pelosi, okay? We're gonna write along here. That's just my opinion, okay? You can say what you want to say, I don't care. But listen. Listen right here. Listen to this. Who will this affect? Pay close attention. That's why I don't work for the government. That's why I refuse. I never wanted to work for the government because I know what the government is. Government started having problems. Everybody going to start losing their paychecks. That's why I don't work for them. The United States is just days away from a shutdown. A federal government shutdown will start on October 1st, 2023, if lawmakers are unable to pass a federal budget or stopgap measure by September 30th. If a shutdown comes into play, Social Security checks will still go out. But all non-essential government work will stop, and there will be no government employee paychecks sent as long as the shutdown lasts. Federal agencies will stop all actions that are deemed non-essential, and it could affect roughly 2 million military personnel and 2 million civilian workers. This won't just affect government workers. It could impact students from preschool all the way to college graduates. Thousands of kids could lose access to programs such as the Head Start Care program. People trying to apply for passports or services, including clinical trials, could expect to see some delays. People who need to travel could see disruptions in air travel. Tourist services such as national parks and museums would be closed. It could rattle the financial markets. And the Food and Drug Administration may have to delay some non-essential food safety inspections. The president and members of Congress will still continue to get paid for working, but any of their staff that they deem to be non-essential will not get paid. So they'll get paid, but the military won't get paid and the government workers won't get paid. So he's saying two million military. I know we got more than 2 million people in the military. So if 2 million must be the little man, the last man on the totem pole must be him. Uh -huh. But they're going to get paid. And they said child care and daycare and, and stuff like that. You know, people get that program where you get money if you're working for you to go to work or go to school. And your child can get almost like free child care according to your income. Okay. That's a lot of money being spent, people. Whole lot of money. It is. You know, a person get a job, that don't mean they're going to get a good enough job, okay? They get a job and they're still going to need the income, you know, for the child care. They're still going to need it. Here in Georgia, I think it's called peach care. I don't know what yours is called. But that's what they say is going to happen. Let me move right along. Listen to Kamala. Listen to her. Of course, you know, she's going to blame the Republicans. Blame the Republicans. That the members of our military, servicemen and women, aren't getting paid. It means that people who are doing critical work that is about upholding the, the, the structures of our government um, and all that we rely on in terms of those services could shut down. 
So let's start there. It would be completely irresponsible. Second, people are playing politics. They're playing political games. There's a lot of showmanship that you're seeing. And if those people put those same levels of effort and talent into actually something that was productive, I don't think we'd be in this place of talking about a government shutdown. Should Democrats step in and, and help avoid a shutdown if that's what, if that's what was, is required? Well, right now, it's very much in the hands of the, um, the Republicans in Congress to be able to do just that. Democrats shouldn't step in and agree about nothing with the Republicans. We're going to stand our ground, and they always stand their ground. And Republicans always bow down. They bow down, y'all. Yeah. Now, she going to get paid. Biden going to get paid. Congress and all of them going to get paid. Senate, House of Representatives. But the little man ain't going to get paid. They're going to let y'all be struggling again. Y'all already struggling. You're going to struggle some more, okay, until we get this thing situated, okay? Listen to this right here. Listen to this. I don't know who this guy is, but he must be a senator or something, you know, a congressman. They say he's a GOP congressman. Listen to this. That means Republican, y'all. That's what GOP means. Congressman, will you take pay if the government shuts down? I am honestly not sure how that works. Well, you still get money. The members of Congress get paid. The minority leader, Mitch McConnell, said so on the floor yesterday. So will you accept that pay? I will. You know, uh, I am not independently wealthy. And uh, we are uh, um, like any other family. Um, I, I don't think you're going to find a huge amount of sympathy, um, you know, for people that have been furloughed or early retirement. Uh, or laid off or their pension going bankrupt, uh, um, you know, you're not going to find a huge amount of sympathy uh, out there. That's, that's, I'm, I'm afraid that's just the reality. So, yep, he's going to take his pay. <laughs> I ain't got a lot of money. Okay. I'm not like some of these senators and Congress people. And Biden and Kamala and the president. I ain't made no money since I've been sitting here. I'm just a poor Republican. I'm going to take my money. Oh, hey, hey, heck yeah, hell yeah. I'm taking my money. I can't blame them. I can't get mad at them. They're going to pay me. I'm going to take it too. What am I going to say? Send it back. Send it back. Send the money back. These other people struggling, send my money back. I want to be in the same category as them. Not being paid. You think he going to say that? Heck no, he ain't going to say that. Nobody's going to say that. I wouldn't say it either. Okay. Now listen to this right here. <coughs> You're going to figure out who this is going to affect, okay? Just pay attention. Pay. So in case you don't know, there is an emergency alert planned for October 4th, but I have a prediction for this, guys. I think things are going to change. But first, let's just cover the details in case you are not aware that this is happening. October 4th, 2.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So they're going to push this out to a text message to all TVs, radios, and all cell phones pretty much at the same time. So we're kind of worried about this. A lot of people are calling this national shut your phone off day. I don't know who started that, but it sounds like a good idea. It says the purpose of the test is to test the system, blah, 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 blah. But here's where the prediction comes in because look, backup testing date is October 11th. Now, if you paid attention recently, what are we dealing with right now that might postpone this? If you said the government shut down, then you'd be right. So in case the government shuts down, this alert will probably be pushed until the 11th or later because no one will be around to push the button. And if no one's getting paid, no one's going to go to work. So that's probably what they did when they made these plans. That's probably why they had the backup plan, probably because they knew this was going to happen, which means it might not happen the 4th, okay? You know what? He's right. There may not be nobody there to push the button. They're supposed to do this emergency thing where they ping everybody phone emergency alert. It's supposed to be a, a, a nationwide test for all cell phones. Yeah. So he said people are trying to shut their phones off because they don't want to be a part of it because they think the government is trying to do that to get information. They go, I don't know what they're trying to do this for. Emergency alert. Okay. Why they got to tell people they doing this? Why they want to do this? It's for a reason, y'all. Everything's for a reason. We The reason why they want to do it, okay? So, 
He says, shut the phone off, but I was told, I don't know if this is true or not. Maybe y'all can let me know down in the comment section. You can shut your phone off and it's still going to work. Okay, if that's the case, how the heck can they do that? How can they control your phone and it shut off? That's what I want to know. That lets you know the government is doing something sneaky anytime they can do that. So it's supposed to be October the 4th and it might be delayed if they ain't got nobody to push that button until October the 11th. But we'll see. We will see. Maybe the government come back up then. I don't know. I have no idea. But y'all, something sneaky is going on. And trust me, y'all, there is a distraction. There is. I know a lot of people don't think so, but we've been distracted from maybe what's about to come and what's going on right now, really. Okay. Okay. This is this guy right here. I know a lot of y'all are afraid and scared. I can understand. But the government have to pay you even if they shut down and you're a government worker or you work for the, whoever, the park system, the library system, whatever government you work for. They still got to pay you, but they got to give you back pay. But it's going to take forever. Listen to this guy right here. Listen. All right, y'all need to listen up because we're just a few days away from government shutdown. And let me tell you what happens. If this happens, all the people that works, you will not get paid. This is bad, bro. This is really freaking bad. And if it gets back up, if the government shutdown is uplifted, it will take you weeks and days to get back paid. See, why y'all distracted and worry about all this crap? That's going on in the internet. We're less than a couple of days away from a government shutdown. This is insane. And right at the same time, there's people hopping the borders trying to get over here. People escaping out of different countries, different states. Smuggling. Coming over to the United States at the same time. And people are not going to be able to get paid not going to be able to pay their bills. Now that we're just a few days away from a federal government shutdown, it's worth oh. talking about what the government shutdown means. Because it sounds like one of those really bureaucratic... It is bad. ...limited to the capital. But the pain is real, and we all feel it, no matter where we live. First of all, there's the impact on federal workers. Of mm -hmm. which there are hundreds of thousands, only a small percentage of which work here in Washington. They're in communities across the country, and they will go without paychecks. If I was you guys, I would be saving portions of your money. I'll be stocking up food. Because once they shut it down, even when it's lifted, that could be five days, six days, it's going to be hell on the streets if it happens. I just want to say that. But not only that, it's the fact that when will your check comes? That's what you're going to have to be concerned about when it uplifts. This young man is right. He says stock up now. You're going to have a lot of people going to the store, probably today and Saturday. But you know what, though? It might be too late if you haven't stocked up. You know, you should always have extra food just in case of emergency, you know. Especially in these days and times and what's going on right now, you know, with the United States. You should always have some extra food, all right, for you and your kids. Let me move right along. But that young man was right right there. All right, listen to this right here. Listen. Senator, um, 60 Minutes did reporting that, you know, we've been waiting for about where this money is really going. But that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg, seeds and salaries and apparently sweaters in Ukraine. Well, you know, a significant chunk is non-military. A bunch of it is going to government salaries. I've also read that it's going to government pensions. And you're right, to add insult to injury, if there's a shutdown... U.S. government workers will not be paid, but Ukrainian workers will be paid by the U.S. taxpayer. There's nothing in the Constitution that allows for spending like this to another country. The spending clause in our Constitution says that the Congress can spend according to its enumerated powers, the powers given to it by the Constitution, and also for the general welfare. 
So it's illegal for the U.S. government, if they wanted to give $100 billion to my state of Kentucky, they can't do it. That would violate the general welfare clause. What do you think it violates to send it to another country? Our framers never imagined in their worst nightmare that we would send that much money overseas. But it violates every precept of the Constitution, and I'm going to do everything I can to stop them from sending any more. Man. They're not going to pay the government employees, but Ukraine will still have money. They're going to send y'all money, y'all taxpayer dollars. Even though the government shut down, they're still going to send money to Ukraine. And they're still going to give money, y'all, to those immigrants crossing the border. They're still going to help them. Because they got to help them because they are fleeing their country because they are asylum seekers. We got to help them. We got to help them. We don't care about y'all right now. Y'all been living here for a long time. Okay, y'all should have been and got yourself together. That's what they're thinking now. That's what they're thinking, okay? But we're going to help these people because they need more help than you do. That is crazy right there. Moving right along. Okay, you know we got some people... This young man right here, I'm sorry y'all, this video getting a little long, but I gotta play this. I gotta play these next ones. This young man right here, listen to what he said. Of course, you know he's a Democrat. Listen to him. Yeah, the Republican Party is just awful. This is their spending plan, and if it doesn't pass, they're gonna shut down the government. That's how insane they are. These are just some of the impacts of the Republican Party's proposed spending plan. One million children will lose food help, 20,000 vets and 300,000 families will lose housing aid, 60,000 seniors will lose Meals on Wheels. There will be an 80% cut, yes, 8-0, to low-income schools, and then a 70% cut to home heating assistance heading into winter. What? Basically what the Republican Party did here is they looked at some of the most crucial programs we have in America, such as like food help, housing help, etc. And they're like, yeah, let's cut all of that. Let's not do this other stuff. Let's cut all these programs that actually helps the American people. It's insane. Like seriously, can you imagine voting for a party that supports a million children losing their food help? I mean, I can't even comprehend how they think that's okay. That is insane. But look, this is what happens when you have Republicans in power. Republicans always support cutting funding for these very vital programs, and then they don't support raising taxes on the wealthy and the wealthy corporations. It's so backwards and crazy. This dude here don't know economics. Some of the impacts of the GOP proposed spending plan, he said one million children will lose food help. One million children, that's it? That's it? Oh, probably a hundred million? A two hundred million? That's it? Just one million? Okay, so it seemed like to me the program is still in place right there. Have you ever thought maybe those one million people just don't need it because maybe the parents lied on their forms or something? Okay, we got to do some cuts. We got to do some cuts because we know some people are lying and cheating with the government. Always, y'all. Always, okay. Also, he said 20K vets and 300K uh, families are losing housing aids. I ain't seen that. Have y'all seen that? Why they losing housing aids? Why they want to do that to the veterans? Why do the Republicans want to do that to the vets? Could it be maybe that they don't qualify? Could it be maybe that they don't have too much money in those funds because Biden been spending so much money, okay, over there in Ukraine and immigrants? Could it be that? Could it be that, okay? Maybe they don't have enough money. I don't know. I don't know about that. He says 60K seniors will lose meals on wheels. Well, you know what, y'all? I'm going to tell you something. Those meals on, on wheels, that food is nasty anyway. 60K will lose it, seniors. Now, I'm telling you now, that's a real small number when you think about all the seniors there's millions and millions and millions and millions of seniors only 60k that's it they gotta do some cuts somewhere maybe they have to qualify okay all seniors don't qualify for meals on wheels they don't 80 percent cuts to low-income schools have you ever thought maybe they're doing the cuts to the school because they're not progressing low-income schools they still dumbing them down? 
They call them low-income schools for a reason, okay? They probably not progressing, the students. So why keep wasting money on something that's not working, okay? It's up to the parents to send their kids to a, maybe a private school, home school, or get tutoring, okay? Why we got to do that for your kids? Tax dollars, okay? My mama did not do that for me, okay? When things got bad, I went to tutoring after school. What's wrong with that? Wrong with it. Also, it says 7% cuts to home heating assistance headed into the winter. A lot of those people don't have funds, y'all. 70% cuts for the winter. I went inside of somebody's house one time. I'm telling you that heater was set on 85 degrees. Burning me up. Do you know how much people spend on heating and air? It's a lot. Some people don't even care. Okay. All right. The government's paying for it. I don't care. Especially people living in housing, government housing. All the time, they, they can turn their heat up when they want to. Get a bill for $3, $30. They can turn, turn their air up to whatever they want. 70 degrees, 65 degrees, 60 degrees. They can do that. Here you are. You almost freezing to death because... You cannot turn your heater up, okay? So I don't feel sorry for some of these people. Now, I don't know what they're cutting. I, I don't know, but I just know that things are strange, y'all. Things are strange. Of course, they're going to say that. See, they're not telling the whole truth. They're not giving you why they are doing those things. They're not going to tell you why, okay? They're going to make Republicans look bad, okay? They want to cut for the little man, cut from the little man. But they're going to help the rich people, taxes. They will not cut their taxes, but they're going to cut y'all programs. What they don't understand, like I said, they don't understand economics, okay? You raise the taxes on the rich and the companies and stuff like that, the businesses, what's going to happen? That's going to trickle down to you, the little man, okay? Because they're going to have to raise their prices because they're, they're being charged so much taxes, okay? They can barely keep their business. So go ahead. Go ahead and charge them a lot of taxes and see what happened to you, okay, at the stores. You're already suffering. It's going to get worse. All right. It says House Republican budget likely to feature the same approach, severe cuts as their past budgets. Damaging program cuts in the name of deficient reduction. Resource draining tax cuts for the wealthy. Disproportionate cuts in programs helping people with low moderate income. We got to cut them. We can't have them getting all this money no more. People sitting on the system so long, y'all. Too long, too long, okay? Sometime or another, you should be able to get ahead in your life, okay? Let's say you've been sitting on the system for 20 years. You don't think it's time for you to get off the system to do better with your life, to try to do better? Your kids are looking at you, okay? Are you teaching your kids to sit on the system? To rely on it? Never do better in life. That's what you want to teach your kids. It's also very deep cuts to Medicaid and Affordable Care Act health coverage. Medicaid, y'all, that's for, you know, for women with children and I think some elderly people. They're going to do cuts. I don't think they'll cut the elderly people off, but they may cut some of you people with kids who've been on there for a long time. Dramatic cuts in important domestic investment including school, child care, air traffic control, medical research, and more. Medical research, y'all, I'm sorry to say. You know how long people have been giving money for medical research, donating, cancer. The government been giving them money all this time, all these years, way back when I was young. Okay. And they still ain't found a cure. So how long are we supposed to keep giving money to something y'all can't even find a cure for? That's what we want to know. Okay, people get tired. They got to tell us something. Man, oh, I know I was going to take a sip. Let me take a sip. Mm. Ooh, I'm getting... Ooh. Moving right along. Mm, mm, mm. Last one right here. Listen to what this guy said. America cannot run out of credit, he says. And basically, he's saying that because, you know, America, we can make money. We can make money, more money, more money, like Biden been doing, printing money. That's what he said. So why are we in a deficit? Okay, why are we going to have a government shutdown? Just make some more money. <laughs> 
is that what he's saying? Listen. The U.S. is about to reach its credit line. Uh, Y'all, this is why I stress financial literacy. Because America cannot reach a credit line. It can't hit a credit limit because it runs on credit and debts. That's what the U.S. dollar is, okay? There's no such thing as a credit limit. They have been... The argue the the argument about America's debt is literally just a distraction. The debt is how they make money. Okay? America uses its debt to make money. As America's debt increases, so does its profit. How are they going to run out of how are they going to reach a credit line, a credit limit when they get money from the Federal Reserve who can print money whenever they want? And the Federal Reserve is not separate from the country. So is, are they just going to say, I'm done printing money? This is just a distraction. This is what they want people to think is the cause of the recession we're about to be in. They don't want people to know the real causes so you can prepare yourself and things of that nature. Like that argument that America's debt is too high, it's too high. They've been arguing about this for years and it does not decrease. Why do you think that is? It's because America runs on debt. Y'all, this is why I stress financial literacy, bro. So you don't get caught up in the bullshit that they try to put in your face. This is not the cause of the depression we're about to be in. Debt is how this country makes money. Think about it, all right? If you want to start a business, what are you doing? You're going to the bank and getting a loan. You're going to use that loan to turn a profit and pay back the loan. That is what America does with the Federal Reserve. It borrows money from the Federal Reserve at interest so it can make money and then it'll pay the Federal Reserve back. But it will it will never stop paying the Federal Reserve back because it's charging at interest. And the Federal Reserve just keeps on printing more money, making the dollar less valuable. Please learn financial literacy, bro. And even if the Federal Reserve was to stop printing USD. They would just be setting it up so we could move to CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. What is the Central Bank of the United States? The Federal Fucking Reserve. They're just going to control a different money supply. Thank you. Ooh, that young man, that young man is so smart right there. I wish all young people would do their homework like this young man right here. Okay. I wish they would. He is not lying. He's not. It is a distraction. That's what they're trying to do. And they're distracting you for a reason, okay? And we just got to figure out what that reason is. Probably coming soon to a city or state near you, all right? The government know what they're doing. They know, you know. Like I said, Biden's been printing money. Now, all of a sudden, you know, we are going to have a government shutdown because we ain't got enough money. When we know that they already been printing money and doing stuff that they want to do, okay? The central bank, get the money from the from the uh, the, the bank, banking system. You know what I'm trying to say. Lord have mercy. I don't want to be too long. I'm already up 30 minutes over. So I want y'all to go down that comment section and tell me what y'all think about this whole thing because I know some of y'all mad and pissed off. Are you already stocked up? Do you already have your toilet paper? Paper towel, toiletries, vitamins, medicine, you know, over-the-counter drugs. Do you already have that? You might want to go and get you some because, you know, God knows what's going to happen, okay? I understand. Do you have your bottled water? Do you have everything that you need, your necessities, okay? Do you have enough food, all right? Because they're going to be going crazy at the grocery store. They're going to be going crazy. I'm already stocked up. I've been ready, all right? With all that said, y'all... Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And watch the next video coming up. Thank you. Yeah.